Hello, welcome to a new vlog. Uh, what am I doing today? I'm driving to the Roaches. It's just uh, about 15 miles away from where I live. Um, I've, I've had real bad luck with the weather and then also my time to get out when the weather has been okay. So I thought I'll try and make up for it. I'm going to go up to the Roaches, catch some golden hour, maybe get a decent sunset, you never know. Uh, there's beautifully fluffy white clouds up in the sky, but not too many. This, I've checked the weather forecast and that's why I'm out because the, you know it, it didn't threaten rain. Uh, and the rain isn't a problem as long as the clouds look nice. So that's what I'm doing, off to the roaches. I'm also going a little bit more lightly packed. I've got a smaller backpack. Um, I've got far less gear than I normally carry, still too much, but far less. And that's because I'm trying to prepare what I'm going to take on my camping trip. I'm going to go camping. Only for, I think only one night, maybe two, but probably one night, uh, just so I can catch a, uh, you know, some dawn shots, and that'll be in Wales, most likely. I mean, it might change to the Lake District, I don't know yet. But yeah, this is a, an adventure really, because I'm not taking all my gear, and I don't like that. <laughs> but I've got, to, I've got to travel much lighter, I've got to take a lot less if I'm going to be camping because uh, I like to think I'm you know got the strength of a bull but I haven't my knees definitely haven't I've had a lot of grief for them recently so let's see it's really lovely like I said um I just wasn't sure what I should do tonight what trek to take so I could go up to I could go up the top of hen cloud but that only really leaves me with a sunset or I can make my way up towards the trees, see what's interesting up there. It's always nice to see all the green because like, I think last time I was here, it was probably just hitting spring. And so we hadn't got all the greenery in full bloom. So yeah, I'm going to go this way and uh, hopefully get some shots on the way up to the top. Yeah, got to be worth a shot. I was super worried the last time I was here that my favourite tree here, which is this one, uh, had been butchered. Loads of it had been cut off, but I've got to say, you know, now it's all in its green, it looks okay. I don't know if it's going to be the same during autumn, but I'm going to give them a pass on this one for now. The shadow is being cast across the, uh, the moors there. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully get, maybe get a shot of that as I get further up. One of the things I'm learning um, is I'm super dependent on battery power. And I've got a, you know, I was moaning that this was running out of power, the GoPro. I actually bought a gadget called a Volta, which is like a bit of a sort of stick and tripod. And uh, has the ability to power up the GoPro. So you're essentially greatly extending the battery life. Only when you don't charge that as well, kind of renders the whole thing moot, doesn't it? It'd be nice to catch the sun as it drops down. Just sort of touching the tops of the ferns and getting a nice uh, composition from it. But I'm not winning. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Um, well, oddly enough, I think maybe the sun's dropped a bit too much and so the trees that are on the edge here are blocking the light too much. Maybe if it was a little bit higher, if I got up here a little bit earlier, I might have caught something. But then the sun might have been just too high and illuminated the fern too much. Them's the brakes, you know. Camera's going off for a bit now. So I've got to go up to the top and the problem is uh, I know I've got to use these trekking poles because uh, my knees just won't hack it uh, and unfortunately I'm also carrying the camera on a tripod I just can't be bothered put everything away and I can't hold the camera the video camera and the trekking poles and stay safe so on we go oh here I am uh, as far as I'm going tonight, so just to give you some bearings in case you come up this way, this is Doxy's Pool, 
which is always great for a few snaps. I mean, a, a pool up here is really quite nice and you can do some interesting things uh, with the rocks at the back. And of course, with the sun setting, possibly get something. Never really tried from that side, so maybe give that a whirl tonight. Um, and of course, get some water shots, which is already nice. There's a little bit of a breeze tonight, so it's not like a, it's not like glass, which is a shame. But uh, got it all to myself, it seems. So lucky, aren't I? Okay, now you can probably see from the this iPhone shot that that in itself is a beautiful picture. So that's what we want to try and capture. And I'll just bring it to a camera and you can see what you just saw in the iPhone is pretty much what we've got. Um, I don't want it too wide. Uh, I want to sort of cut off here, just on the edge of the, the pool. And these rocks here are very strong. So I, I don't want them, I don't want these too much in the foreground because they're, they're overwhelming and they'll, your eye will just be, oh, every time, your eye will just be caught by them and uh, very little else. So we, we're kind of, we're going, we're going to go just over them and we're going to catch, catch that beautiful water. We'll give it a bit of a longer exposure so we can just try and cut a few of those ripples out. And of course, I want to get that beautiful band of cloud as the hue of the sky is changing as well. There's a tiny bit of colour in it. You can't quite see it. Let me just bring the camera away again. Can you see there's that beautiful colour there? That's what we want to capture because that is gorgeous. So uh, here we go. I don't really want to shoot straight into the sun, certainly not not right now. Um, I, I don't mind lens flares, I think I've mentioned this before, if you can artistically use the lens flare then that's great, go for it. Uh, but at the moment, um, what I'm going to try and do is shoot across here and catch the sun, hopefully just as it drops and presents some nice colour and yeah, maybe even the lens flares, I don't mind, but it's just too, it's just too harsh right now even for a side shot, so uh, really it's quite beautiful though, isn't it? She's uh, vanished behind that big cloud bank over there and it looks pretty thick. So that's probably it as far as the sun going down, but still some really pretty colors. My camera doesn't handle low light very well though. I could break out the Canon M50, which is actually slightly better. Um, or I'm just gonna take some shots with the iPhone. Uh, now that the, that, you know, that really bright dot has gone, it can get some pretty good shots with the phone. But I am going to stick around for about 10, maybe even 15 minutes because it's it's when the sun goes down. Hardcore photographers will know this. It's when the sun's gone down that sometimes you get the best, uh, the best light coming up from those uh, from those clouds or the horizon. So we'll see. She's not quite down yet. And if you can just see there, just a little bit of it. I'm going to, I'm going to sit and have a drink. Just wait and see because you never know. And the times I've just gone down got on my car and by the time i've got there i've looked back and and there's a you know a radiant sky and uh, i could kick myself so it's worth the extra 10 minutes and you'll notice i've got a jacket because let me tell you from now years of experience you do not come to the top of the roaches in any weather without something warm to put on because it, it will instantly freeze your nuts off <laughs> um so there you go. Um, I'm going to stick around, like I say, uh, probably not film any of it. Thanks so much for coming along. If you've liked it, uh, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry I haven't been able to put more out. Everything has conspired against me, but trust me, I've got some good stuff coming up. I, well, I hope so anyway. And uh, me going camping, big tent, all that sort of stuff should be hilarious, I hope. Uh, you're welcome to come along and watch that. But uh, for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a drink. I'm going to have a bit of chocolate and... Uh, 
just wait to see what the sun does uh and who knows if, if there's anything comes up i'll put the pictures at the end and if not thanks again see you soon just a quick one as i make my way home did anyone notice that the heather seems to be turning purple quite early i mean it's supposed to be late summer it's like it isn't even the middle of july yet and the blackberries are starting to come out feels like an early autumn what do you think let me know in the comments am i just being weird or a, a bit... and there's another thing on the lanes and i've got a photograph of this a lot i mean i know it's been windy we had some pretty strong winds over the weekend but those of the trees have dropped their leaves in the lane <sighs> probably nothing but it certainly feels like an early autumn anyway bye <laughs>